All right, sounds good. Let's go over the crude trade that's in now. We have a crude trade that uh, I was talking about, and they were, it's actually developing right now as we speak. And then let's go over the gold trade uh, uh, right here. So let's just take a look at the five Simrico and the three Simrico. How can we use these two together to find setups? We just had a buy signal that just happened right now on gold. What you can do is you can actually use a 5 sim, 5 sim Rinko to set the trade up and use a smaller time frame to enter off a 3 sim. We all know how to use a 9 sim and a 3 sim. I did videos on that, how to use a really large time frame when it gets below 10% or above 90%, then you pop in with the 3 sim. You can also do it with the, with the, uh, with the 5 sim Rinko. What you want to do with the 5 sim Rinko is, is I have a, uh, trend box that is nine. So the trend box is nine on this five sim right now. And what we want to do is, if the trend box is nine instead of 25 on the five sim, you can literally uh, watch for speed coming in the market if you just have a one candle close inside of a trend box. A one candle close tells me as a trader using a five sim with a setting of nine that I have speed. I'm on gold right now, but I'm on gold, Gerald. I'll switch over to crude in a second. So this big consolidation right here, we've had one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 candles was a consolidation before a continuation. So the trend was already up on our large time frame. So this is consolidation. Trend box. That's a consolidation trend box. So what we want to see then, if you're using specifically a 5 sim Renko, this is a 5 sim Renko. If you want to use a 5 sim Renko to set it up and enter off the 3 sim Renko, here's how it works. What you'll want to see is you want to see the 5 sim Renko you'll want to see the 5 sim Renko show a one candle close inside of a trend box. This indicates major possible speed in the market. Once you see that, you're going to look for the first retracement off your 3SIM. Your 3SIM is over here. So where those arrows are, that's your first retracement after this one candle bar. So here's the one candle bar off the 5SIM that formed. There's your one candle bar and this high. There's your first retracement, got below 10%. Your entry is positive market delta right at this low, right there. There's your positive market delta. So the five sim set it up with consolidation with the speed bar. Remember, one candle close on the five sim suggests that we're going higher. That coincides with a first retracement off of my. 3 sim actually broke through symmetry on a double top, which is even better. There's your first retracement below 10%. And right there is your positive market delta fire in the trade with the stop loss two ticks below this swing low. All right. Consolidation before continuation. Gerald, go over to crude real quick. If I go to crude oil, Gerald, switch over to crude. All right, crude. Let's take a look at crude. What we want to see is what I want to see is what? I want to see one candle. Look at one candle on the 5 sim. It started this whole big move right here. One candle started the whole big move. Right there. One candle started the whole big move here. And then look at the first retracement, how it worked out great. So look at these two areas. Right here is a consolidation bar. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 
candles or seven or eight candles. Right there's your one candle. There's your first retracement off the five sim by itself. That's how you can trade the five sim by itself. Five sim retracement caught the low. Five sim retracement caught the low. So you can do that. Now we just had one that the five works with the three. Now remember this is a five sim ratio. I just showed you how to do this on gold on that last gold trade. Here is your crew trade. We had one candle that came in right there that indicates speed to the downside on the five sim Rinko. You can look for the first retracement. And it catches this high just a second ago, right here. So now you can use the five and the three together. I showed you already how to use a nine and three together. You can use a five and three together now too. There's your five sim. Sets the trade up. And three sim can be your execution for small stops. Now, you can trade off of the 5 too, because you get these retracements. See, you get this one candle, nice retracement, big move. One candle, close inside the trend box, move. What you're going to have to do is you have to change this to a 9. You have to change this to a 9, though, okay? Change this to a 9 on the 5 sim if you want to take trades like this. They're very, very accurate. When you get this backtesting software, you can backtest it. And you, uh, the markets that, that I look at, I look at crude, the DAX, heating oil, gold, NASDAQ, Russell 2000, Dow Minis, the S&P, you know, just a few of them. And they're all pretty much the same accuracy. The percentage-wise, you're, you're going to find out with this system, it's pretty universal. Like you can put up, which I'll go over in the conference call, you can put up a time frame and you're pretty much going to be about the same accuracy. These these markets trade pretty similar. They're they're almost alike, meaning the accuracy is about the same in most of them. They're about one or two percent different. So when you see these setups, they cookie cut themselves throughout the whole on all the markets, all forex, all currency, all futures. So it just depends what kind of market you want to trade. If you want to trade the trend box of nine, go into settings under trend box under indicator and change 25 to nine off the five sim. 25 to nine. And you get these setups like this. All right, so let's reiterate what we're doing here again. I got the five sim Rico beside the three sim Rico. I got my trend box nine. On my trend box here on the five sim and nine on my trend box setting on my three. They're both the same. What I want to see on the five is I want to see one candle closing inside of a trend box. That indicates speed. One candle close indicates speed. Then I want to look for the first retracement off the three sim to try to get me with a small stop. All right, we just had a nice gold trade to the upside and a nice crude trade working on the downside as we speak. All right, Ernie, so just go into indicator, change it from 25 to 9, buddy. Let me reiterate, though, we only want to look for one candle trend box closes on the 5 sim for speed. Anything more than that, you're looking for consolidation. The three sim will confirm it too because the three sim will show you speed also. If you notice what happened when we had the five had a one candle, the three also had a two candle close. Anything less than four bars, four candles on the three is a trade setup. So they coincided together, which is beautiful. It's a great way to trade the system. I go into trend box. Go to trend box and change it to nine. Let me see real quick. Gerald, go and shut that off. 
Uh, it's under period, under parameters, period. The period should say 25, you want to change that to 9, under trend box. There you go. It's called sim trend box. Thanks, Steve. Sim trend box. Ernie, change that to 9, off to 5. 